In 2004, that's I'm starting uh, to introduce my guest. In 2004, we had a different song, way different from the high life and hip life that we all know. And this particular song was a big hit back then. And we're all dancing to it. And to this day, we still dance to it. I mean, we've been played it for you. Heaven, there is no beer. And the one who made this beautiful song is seated right here with us. Uh, at Tongo Zimba. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> because of the Z. The excitement is too I know, right? Uh, Atongo Zimba is our guest today. And I, for one, I am very excited because I am a huge fan. And it's a pleasure to have you, sir. Good Thank afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And good Heaven. afternoon to you. There is, there no, is no beer. Yeah. Yes. That is why. Yes. We are drinking. Uh, we yeah. need to finish all the beer because yes. when you go to heaven, you're not going to yeah. get beer tea. Yes. But uh, welcome to the show once again. How are you doing? Not bad, mate. Surviving? I must say, you, you, you are fit because yes. reading about you and all that, and you still look the same. What's the secret? Uh, the secret is the more people hate you, the more you never die. <laughs> yeah. okay. The more people hate you, the yes. more you never die. Yeah. So you yeah, have the a lot more of you're just always looking good. Yeah. But you, so you think you have you a, have a lot of haters? Yeah. Hate yes. yes. So, wow. so they get. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Yes. <laughs> But let's talk about music. And um, when I listen to your music, it's more like Afrofusion. Yes, please. And um, it's quite different. And we we get a lot of uh, comments that uh, we can Im export our high life, we can export other genre, and not only Afrobeat. But you you are different. You What you do is way, way different from the mainstream music that we do. And yet... You are, I would say that you, you are way, way ahead of those that are still doing the Afrobeat and high life and hip life. I, I want to know the secret. How are you able to export this beat, this sound that is so different from what we even used to listen to back then? How did you do it? Uh, thank you very much. You know, music, we have people who born with music and people who want to play music because they, they want to make some money. Uh, so when you are born with music, you, 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 you want to do something as the way you want, to, you want it to be. So, and mostly the kind of modern music that people do these days, it takes two, three months, you can produce an album. Yeah. But with the kind of music I do, you need one and a half year or two years to finish an album. So that's a completely different work. Mm. If you ask a drummer to come and play the drums today, maybe you need the whole week for the drummer alone to, to, to come and do the drum set. Mm. Because you are not using computer drums. But with the, with the electronic studios now, you can just go and use computer sound. And that's what we use a lot here. Because people cannot afford to pay much for this kind of things. You need a special microphones for recording. So if you do organic things, you always keep organic bias is, is the way I'll say it. Okay, so you say that uh, you being organic, that is what appealed to the foreigners. Yeah, the kind of the music. Okay. The kind of music I do. Okay. You know, it, it, it's not like I'm better than the Ghanaians. It's mm -hmm. Some of them, they have really good music, but they, they by spoiling the music by putting so much computer songs on it and, and, and try to make it sound like Western and and and, and yeah, I, I love Western music, but the Western also love the African. So mm -hmm. what do you have? Okay. This is, this is what we have to, a lot of our artists have to think. You know, we want to be like the Western, but what, what do you have? To, mm. to, 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 to give something that they also can think about. Okay. It. okay. So when I'm, I talk about person like, just let me talk about Onipania, who is from Ghana here. Onipania, when I started to work with Onipania, we used to play in the market on the street, until Faizawani took Onipania out of the street. And if you compare where Onipania reach in, in, in Paris, I would say there's only two Ghanaian band ever played there. It is the Pan-African Orchestra and Osibisa. No any band ever played there. Wow. So that makes it the difference, you know, when you, if you listen to Osibisa, the heart of the music is they recorded everything Live, you know, because the live is how white people want to go and pay and watch live music. Okay. 
in a, so, in a, so you're saying that we need to be ourselves. We need to be. Yeah, you have to be yourself. Yes. Do what we have and not try to copy. Yeah. That is what is going to. Oh, and for music, it all sounds the same to you. You can copy mm. my, make it to be yours. Mm. Okay. Uh, so at what point did you start this? Um, at, no, at what point do you think that, okay, this is different and this is what would actually break me through? If you could take us through that, Jen, because you mentioned that you started playing in the markets, you know, uh, back then. Mm -hmm. And then at what point did you see that, okay, I am, I am an international artist? Yeah, at, at what point did you, did you think that, okay, the breakthrough is I'm an international artist? Yes, uh, the big truth, you know, I've started, I started to work with Senior Didonko. Okay. Koku, uh, through Ajapaya. Mm. Ajapaya, he used to be one of the biggest producers those time in okay. Zombo Lane. Yeah. I, I, I end up staying with him before, we mm -hmm. live together. And uh, I work, that is when I work Osibisa and then through uh, with uh, Senior Didonko. Senior Didonko, I come to live with Maktonto. Oh, so you're talking about you working with Usibisa. Which year was this? Yeah, I'll come with the year. Okay. You were not born. Yes, okay. yes. Because uh, I so, mean, it should be in the so, 90s so, somewhere. So, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. 90s. So I, 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 I came, if you remember, in the early 90s, there was something Parfum at the trade fair where they well, brought Jamie uh, Jackson. I don't say that. I remember. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay so they brought Jamie Jackson, Osibisa, all the top artists from America. Okay. And it was mm. a big thing happening. Pa, 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 uh, Parfum or something they call it. It was happening okay. at trade fair. Mm. No, it's a long time ago. And that is when I met Maktonto. Okay. Of Osibisa. Osibisa. Mm. And then I end up, he finally asked me to come and stay with him. Okay. And, and so I took a lot. And then from there, I get to understand our music is more appreciated when I first take my trip to Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, with a guy I used to work called Gabriel. Mm. So when, when I arrived there, you know, when I used to play on the street, I didn't understand, you know, I guess do it because I was born to do it. Yeah. I was mm. doing it for my, not for, to make money. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, but when I went to Switzerland, then I found out that, no, I have some power here. That's when I started to recognize the powers I have. Because mm. after when I sing on the stage, people come to cry. Hey. You, you know, you, you sing a music piece and people come to sign it, actually to sign you know, those times CD, okay, you have you to feel sign. like a superstar. Yeah, yeah. You have to feel it because you never, your own people never gave you mm -mm, that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because they used to give us money on the street. So they don't give us that feeling that we are so, mm -hmm. you understand? So when I came there and I found out that, no, I, 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 somewhere people understand what I'm doing mm. and they do appreciate it. And the kind of music they like is this music. You understand? And that's mm. where I started to build up. You know, and then from there, you know, I met a record label from from Holland, called Hippo Record, and they did a lot for me also, you know, and that made my life to... to, to it changed to, your life totally. Completely. Wow. Yeah. Because when we were playing Heaven, um, the, the, the production date was 2005. Yes. Oh, it actually came in 2004. 2004. 2004. 2004, we produced it. Okay, and, yes. and you produced it? Um, no, it was uh, a guy called Kingsley. Okay. He's a Ghanaian. He used to work at TB3. And then he came to England. He came to uh, Holland for a project. Mm. And then we end up doing this video together. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Uh, very interesting. Nana, you want to come in? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to talk about the album. Yes, please. Yeah. The A to Z album. Yes. You mentioned in an interview that I want to quote exactly what you said. You said A to Z is to catch the youth. Um, uh, the young youth in a different level because mm -hmm. I'm a bit over 50 years in an interview. You said, I'm a bit over 50 years and the music of my era is completely different. Yeah. So I am trying to get the attention of the youth. Then I will go back to my roots. That is why you have the two albums. A to Z, it was the attention was to get uh, to the young youth. Yes. He's our generation. Yes. Let's talk about acceptability. Did they really accept? Did they really appreciate it? Did they really get to where you wanted it to get to? Yes, I think music is a process. Mm -hmm. I think it will get there, and it's already getting closer. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's guess that kind of music, for me, A to Z, when I use the word of A to Z, is something too sweet for me. <laughs> okay. 
because it's for it's for that kind of music that the young you yes. they want to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 just to tell the people it's not the kind of standard the music I would do. Yeah. But I need these people also to enjoy. Also enjoy. Mm, to enjoy. Yeah. You know, so that's why I said I have to catch to the youth. Yeah. Because this this album was made to catch to the youth. And it quite did a lot. Yeah. The track one is very nice. Yes. And th that's what I love. On the album, two songs that I love very much. Mm -hmm. is a remix of Heaven There Is No Beer. Yeah, with, with Manifest, manifest yes. And also Acquaint Acquaint you. Acquaint you. Acquaint you. Yes. Very, very <laughs> nice. When you, you like, then the, 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 it's an 11 track album. Yes, yes, yes. And how was the process like? Because you said in your initial statement that for someone of your caliber, the kind of music you do, it takes a year to be able to put out yeah, a to produce, album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Producing this album, what was the duration? And oh, this album took us like six months. Oh, okay, okay. We didn't put so much life into mm, it. Yeah. We put a little bit, half of it is 50-50. Okay. That's interesting. interesting. But I was working with, you know, um, the, the young people because I'm sure that you, you are used to the... You know, the, the older the style older of making thing. music, <laughs> but it's a transition into present times. And like you say, you want to get the youth to enjoy your music yes, also. Yes, yes. And the link up with the manifest. Tell us about that whole uh, thing. How did it happen? Did he approach you or you like his music to say, yo? No, I approached manifest. I know okay. manifest from London for a quite long time. Oh, he doesn't know him from Ghana. You know, London. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, yes. so I used to, I used to go, he used to go to a place in uh, Tottenham where I used to go there a lot. But there they have a lot of these rappers, and mm -hmm. I used to go there a lot. So, but we were not like that close, you know. And then uh, my manager, uh, Salasi, decided to say, okay, Atongo, we have to do something with Manifest, with having no beer. So we decided to put Manifest because it's part of the youth, you know. So that's why we came with the song. Yeah, and he quite, he did well. He did well, yeah, he did well, yeah. The, the name, before Harriet comes, this is the last one. The name, A to Z. Is it because of your name, Atongo yes. Zimba? Yes, Atongo oh. Zimba stands you know, for I thought it was normal like Gary. So I said A, B, C, C, C. No. <laughs> but then A. Okay, now it's But it's supposed to stand yeah. for A to Z too. Yeah, A to yeah. Z. Atongo yes. Z. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But, but uh, Atongo, you mentioned about how you invest in your music, yeah. with the drums and all that, and how we should be authentic. And I'm sure a lot of uh, musicians are watching you right now yes. and will want to do that. Yes. But financially, it's not so easy. Yeah. What is your advice to upcoming artists? Uh, you build it up with what you have and then you move from there. To, because if you said you want to have money before you build a house, sometimes mm. it's not possible. So okay. you could start somewhere and then, then you could move to somewhere. Mm hmm you know, so the, the advice is, but when they start with the most electronic, they should make sure that they add the more traditional kind of things okay. into it. So they get used to that. Mm. You know, because now of the songs, and a lot of our artists in Ghana, you go to a tour, you heard the Senegalese is playing, and you go and it's full. Yeah. With different colors. You heard a guy mm. from Mali is playing, and it's full with the different colors. Mm. But then you heard a Ghanaian is playing and it's only Ghanaians. Okay. Mm. So you ask yourself why? Because we are not doing something. It will be full, but it's all Ghanaians. Mm. But when the Senegalese are playing, it's not like only the Senegalese. You see every color there. See. So that tells you it's different. Okay. When we could leave Nana and Perdue them all, what they have done to us, the kind of music they produce, Konimo them all, then we think we get better than what they do. I think we are mistaken. That's, that's a problem. That's a that's a good advice. Yeah. That's a good advice. Yeah. And um, it, it's a good advice, but uh, we cannot overlook finances. And I, for one, I really feel that there's a lot when it comes to financially. There's a lot that our youth, especially that are coming up, can do with money. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you didn't have issues with that, right? With finances. So as I told you, I didn't think about money. I started mm -hmm. the thing on the street. Okay. I haven't started it like uh, somebody who has money. Mm -hmm. I came from the village, from the northern side of Ghana. I came to Accra. With your instrument. With my <laughs> instrument. That's what I got. So I started it on the street. But was not thinking 
I know I could survive with it, mm -hmm. but I was not thinking I'm going to be one day like, uh, you know, yeah. people crying tears yeah. on me, you know, you know, things like that. You know, and then when I went to Europe, that was uh, my first trip to Europe was 96 to Switzerland. That is when I found out, yes, my music, it really can cack up. Yes. Mm. You know, and we have, uh, I remember we have like 15 gigs. We end up playing 32 gigs. Wow. We do sometimes three gigs a day. The crowd was really yes. loving you. Yes, wow. and it was different crowd, not, not like only Ghanaians. Sure. And then we, we are in a different age, yes. Gen Z age. And uh, do people still want your music? Are they crazy about it like before? Ebo Taylor is guest touring a lot in, in Paris and yeah. everywhere now. Mm. Ambule is doing a lot. Watch this people. <laughs> you know, they're doing quite a lot. Yeah. But they stick with the tradition. Yeah. You know, Weala is doing quite a lot. Kenai Soba is doing quite a lot. You know, all our artists who stick with the tradition are still getting a lot of gigs in Europe. So, uh, you're not mostly in Ghana, right? I don't, I, I, I live in London. You live in London? Yes, please. So, now you're here to stay or you're here to promote Oh, I'm always something. here, always okay. this time. Going and coming. When, when it gets to, when the cold finishes, then I, I sneak back. <laughs> yes. But okay. is, is there any projects that you're working on? Yeah, I'm releasing moment? a wine song now. A wine song? Why, uh, it's, so, it's, it's the next song from Heavy Nobia. Okay. And that's what we are working on. Okay, so, and, uh, uh, Heaven, uh, there's no wine. No, this is not about Heaven. This is the best... <laughs> Best wedding, best wine. This is a song okay, about. Okay, okay, okay. It's an interesting song. Can you do something for us? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, why not? I have my color here. Yeah. So you people, you want me to sing the heavy no beer now? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> one. Okay, yeah, I, I think that's is getting ready. Okay, you're done. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. We've got a few minutes to go. Can I go? Oh, yeah, you yeah. can. This chair will worry me oh, because it's it's moving me. Sorry uh, about okay. that. Okay, yeah, it cannot so, make me stand. Um, I I don't know. I, I guess um, the, the, we'll just. <laughs> Find a way around that so yeah. that you yeah, could so just, I can do it. Yeah, play some things. But We're yeah, still watching an intimate interview here good, good on Metro it. Television. Uh, with me, this one, Craig Goodanson, Anaya Tanawati, and Harriet Addy. Mm -hmm. And you are watching us live on DSTV channel 277 also. So, uh, Atongo yeah. is ready now. So, it's going to yeah, do something. We, as we wrap yeah. up with uh, Atongo. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That was uh, Atongo Zimba giving us the hit song, Heaven, There Is No Beer. Uh, we are wrapping up with you. So message to Ghanaians before we go. Message to Ghanaians? Yes, uh, especially your fans, including oh, me. To my fans, mm -hmm. we all have to have patience. <laughs> and uh, all of you should have patience. There's a good song coming. This one is about wedding. <laughs> Thank yes. you Thank very you. much. And we appreciate you for being on the show. So that was at Tongo Zimba and we've been having a chat and I hope you enjoy that one. We